So a lot of times when we use SQL to pull information from a database, we've got to clean it up a little bit. And so here's some tips for cleaning strings or text in our results. So that can include things like trimming, combining, changing the case of those strings, and so on. So I'll give you a few examples. We could use left and right to take the left or right portion of a string and return that in the result. For example, if we're looking at the word analytics, that string, if we want to use left and left three positions, that would pull A and A from analytics. If we used right, that'd take the three characters on the right, ICS. We could also use trim to take out unnecessary spaces on the front and back end of our text string. In this case, let's just imagine that analytics had some spaces before and after it. Trim could pull it out. We could also use trim to pull out specific characters if we want to do that. Like maybe we want to pull out all the A's or something like that. And then we could use upper and lower to change the case of the text string. So upper is going to turn it all uppercase. Lower is going to turn it all lowercase. And then we could use concat or concatenate to concatenate strings together. So maybe we wanted to pull together data and analytics. We could do that using concat. So here's an example. Let's say we were pulling information from a patient's database and we want to pull the name and the city. And here's what it looks like. If we were to use upper, it's going to take the city results, because that's what we put the upper function in, and it's going to make it all uppercase. If we change that to lower, it'd make everything lowercase. Now, using that same example, if we use left for the city and three characters, it'd pull the first three letters of the city in the results. And then it'd do the reverse of that. For right, it's going to take the last three characters in our city. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.